Welcome back. So in our Selenium with Python series, uh, today we are going to see how we can pass the parameters from the command line. Okay, so we were using the PyTest as our unit testing framework. So uh, we were just hard coding the browser in here. If you see here, we are just making it as Chrome browser. And then based on this browser variable, our uh, the test basically is picking up the web driver or the Chrome driver. And then it is just performing the operation on the Chrome browser. Now, so in real time, this is not a feasible, right? Because you cannot go to the uh, what you call your framework and then change as and when you need because this will kind of uh, will uh, give problems when you want to execute in Jenkins or uh, your Azure DevOps pipelining or anywhere else okay so that's why today we will see there are a couple of ways actually where we can get the browser uh, value either from a specific file like, means from a data file or else from the command line itself so that is what we are going to see okay so for this what i will do uh, let's create one variable actually and that we will call it as browser okay so basically this browser now normally how we want to do that so basically i have to do like this pytest hyphen sp which we were doing previously also and then because i'm already in this particular package i can directly call this particular file name okay so sauce demo underscore flat dot py i can do like this now here i want to send something like this browser chrome okay now when i send or when i say that if i am willing to uh, what do you call execute my test on the chrome browser now this is where actually this value i want to take it to my code that is what we are going to do now for this we will be using a particular method actually and that is nothing but the pytest adoption actually i'll create a method as uh, def and then pytest underscore adoption okay adoption and then here i will pass a parser here okay now here what i will do i will take this parser dot add option add option and here i will be specifying the variable that the user is sending now the variable here is hyphen hyphen browser okay this is the variable i am willing to take now here action i will make it as a store okay let's not give any space okay action store means whatever value is coming just store in that browser variable okay and even i can even specify a default value as well now let's say my default value is chrome because i was just doing here right just give one more space or line okay now this is the way actually where you are fetching the value from the browser whatever you are sending from the command line and now if i am not giving anything like on this particular what you call on the command line if i'm not specifying anything then the browser value will be taken as chrome okay so that is what it is doing now the question comes how do we read this value now this is basically where it is adding an option actually like whatever you are sending here the value it's basically assigning to this particular variable now i need to some somehow i need to use this one in our get browser method so that my get get driver method or the fixture will accept that whatever the user is sending okay now for this what i will do here there is another option now i will do a bit change here i'll pass a request here now this request i will be using and then i will do request dot config and then dot get option now here i am adding an option to this particular pytest now here i am getting that option whatever i added that option now basically which variable i'm getting it's basically setting and getting actually now here hyphen hyphen browser fine now this is something i need to assign to a local variable let's say i have this local variable and now this variable i will be sending now okay so this is the way actually i have to get the value from the command line and once i get it now it will be on my parser actually now anything that you are adding into this parser dot add option you can use the get option to access the value now whenever i'm using this one whatever value you are adding into this that will be assigned to this browser 
this local browser that's why i'm keeping that as underscore browser now this browser basically i'm returning to this get browser so that this will be used here now based on if it is chrome then it will execute the uh, launch the chrome browser if it is firefox then it will launch the firefox browser i will remove this path because we were skipping this one right now here i'll make it as a driver okay now here if it this browser value or the get browser is matching with chrome then you execute this one if i'm sending as a firefox then this will be executed okay i have already copied the gecko driver into this particular location so we all know where how to download this gecko driver and then keep it into a safe location so that any browser uh, you are launching or any url you are launching will be using that particular browser as per the if else condition i can do one more thing hold on so here what i will do i will print this particular get browser now i will say browser from get browser method just to make you guys understand actually what it is printing and here i will say get browser simple okay this should be get browser fine okay now here i'm sending firefox it means that it will add an option it is browser as firefox because i'm giving this firefox explicitly means the de default will not work now okay and this will be coming here which in turn will return to here let me comment this one because i no longer needed this strict variable because i am assigning here as a chrome browser now come to this test method now here if you see we are taking this that fixture basically we have taken this base test as the get driver which is taking that fixture and then this is we are taking as a inheritance actually which we have seen in our previous uh, session okay now let's do one thing let me just execute this particular test method only and let me just skip this one so that only one we can see so i will say py test and then i will say mark and then i will say skip mark dot skip okay now this this particular test method will be running okay so for this what i will do py test and then hyphen sb i'm already in this fixer demo directory so i will directly call this method and which is source demo underscore fixture okay oops it should be test underscore okay now fixture dot py now at this moment in this contest uh, we have mentioned that the default should be chrome now i'm not giving any browser parameter let's see what happens now you can see it's basically launching the chrome browser because the default we have mentioned is chrome that's why chrome browser is launched fine you can see here also browser from get browser method is chrome which is coming from this particular statement okay now this time i'll do one thing i'll put the browser command and i will make it as firefox okay so i will say firefox now let's see what it is launching okay so it means that it is not able to identify the gecko driver as a uh, as a exe file rather it is taking this gecko driver as a directory so it is basically taking selenium and uh, slash gecko driver as a folder so what i will do here i will use executable path executable underscore path so that selenium will understand that this gecko driver is not a directory but rather than it is a exe file now this time let me run the same uh, parameter just i'm giving browser as firefox and then enter and then as you can see it launched the firefox browser and then if you see here let me just close this one and if you see here browser from get browser method is firefox which is basically coming from our browser parameter which we sent from here okay so that's how you are making it dynamic so based on whatever the user is sending the parameters you are you are basically accepting those values actually in here fine now this is very much helpful when you want to run from azure devops pipelining because basically when you are when you want to execute in a continuous integration fashion like ci pipelining then you 
can you don't have that option like you have to right click and run or do something because manual no manual intervention should be there so you have to use the command line now basically you might have a requirement where you want to run with firefox chrome or edge any of the driver now at this moment i am showing chrome and firefox as a demo but you can have another if else condition and then you will say get browser equal to equal to edge then driver equal to web driver dot edge and you have to copy the ms edge driver you have to download and then keep it to a safe location so that's how you will be parameterizing your browser value into your framework now this basically will not affect your any existing test scripts because launching the browser and holding the browser driver is basically happening on this contest so just changing this file will definitely help to run all of your test cases without any change okay now another way of getting the browser now this is one of the way actually where you can make a default value and then you can pass the parameter which is very feasible sometimes people want to like they don't feel like comfortable to add the value actually here from the command line so what you can do you can have your own file actually data file basically some people will keep their uh, what do you call their uh, urls like the application url and then username password what kind of environment like qa staging or uh, like if it is prod environment and all these details they want to keep it into a data file and then they fetch it whenever they need so the same thing let's try to mock it up let me just clear this output okay now what we can do uh, because this is just a demo folder we don't uh, we did not create here the page object model so i'm just creating under this only so i will be creating a file and i will keep the name as settings.py you can keep any name actually let me just add to the github and here i will put the url i'll just add some value actually here and then i will say browser equal to i will just say edge uh, maybe edge okay or maybe at this moment i don't have edge so let me just put the firefox and then some people might add username username equal to something and then password equal to something and then they will even put the environment equal to let's say that qa now why i am saying that environment and all these details people prefer to go like at this moment if you see this is just a demo application right that's why we are seeing www.saucedemo.com or else facebook.com but in real time you might not be executing your test on the production environment you might be executing something like www.qa.saucedemo or else you can stage dot dom so because you have different environments right so based on the versions you are testing whether it is some new features are coming maybe it is available in qa environment so you want to build the url actually so what you can do based on this particular settings.py environment you can add the or build the url actually among yourself and then you can launch that fine so the same for that reason actually we need to have a separate file and then read this file whenever you need so at this moment we have kept this uh, what do you call this default as chrome right instead of this uh, let me just do one thing let me comment this line and then add another line so that uh, yeah so here what i can do instead of this default what i can say settings dot and then i will say browser fine now this settings let me just import this one and this is basically under this fixture demo right so on this file i have this browser value now whatever value if i'm not using anything like let's say that if i'm not giving anything here okay so the default will be basically coming from this file now this file what is the default value browser firefox right let's see if this is executing properly or not okay you can see here the it printed that it is running on the firefox browser okay you can see here it is coming for firefox because i'm not giving any parameter here you can see i'm just giving uh, without any browser parameter but the default value is basically taking from this browser
So normally whenever you, you want to add any of the data, you can even specify the default value in here as well. Because normally people don't prefer to go inside this and then check it what is the default. Like if some non-tech person is using that, they can just add or edit whatever the settings.py file and then your framework should pick up the value from that particular file. So this is again another way of taking the data. Okay. So these are the different ways like either you can take it from like your PyTest parameter or as a default value or from a different file. Even you can take a JSON file as well like settings.json and then you can read that value. Python has very good uh, what you call flexible um, reading from a JSON uh, file as well. So depending on your preference you can just use the data file formats. And again, it is not limited to this browser value only, which you can take it from the uh, what do you call from the parameters. You can even take anything like um, let's say that on the real time from Jenkins or something you want to build on the QA server actually on the QA application QA uh, environment you want to do. So what you can do, you can hyphen hyphen environment, and then you will say QA. Now, what is the thing like whatever your framework is supporting to take the data, you have to do that many times here. Like here, what you can do, you can just copy this one and then take it and instead a browser, you will say environment, which you are sending from this parameter. Now, instead, so here you, I can say settings.environment. So if you are not adding any value here, then the environment will be taken from this settings.py. Now, the same thing. If you want to build it, I'm just making it as mocking. You can even try the same thing. Now here, what I will say, environment equal to, I will write this line of code actually. Request.config.get option. And here I will say, instead of this, I can say environment. I can even do this way as well. Okay. And now here, what I will do, I can build this as plus so this is what in real time we do that now instead of this we will say env and here we will say like this okay now what is happening based on whatever the value like whether it is qa or uh, staging or production it will be taking that value so like that you can also build your urls as well okay so as many as parameters you are supporting in your framework so the user can use the pytest parameter you have to write these two lines of code adding that option and then getting that option okay so pytest will basically compare this variable with the variable that you are using in your parameters okay so that is the way actually you can take the values from the pytest command line argument or from pytest parameter options okay so this is pretty much it for today's session hope this helps do subscribe to this youtube channel if you haven't thank you for watching